Hey guys, I think the sun is smiling on me today. Look at my skin. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to show you um, everything I'm using when I'm trying to make pepper soup, like go to make pepper soup. Nothing serious, nothing extraordinary, just simple and basic. You don't need to have all the ingredients in the world so before you have a good meal. I'm just, um, I think it's about five or six ingredients. Less than actually. Let's just go ahead and do it. No need for the long talk. And yeah, thank you. <laughs> See you soon. I'm not sure I'm going to show my face again, but I believe this is enough. <laughs> okay, guys, so my goat meat is here now. I'm just going to cut them in smaller pieces because it's difficult to eat meat that is really large in pepper soup. They are quite big actually. size I would like it to be so now that I'm done cutting the next thing I'm just going to do is to bring sticks and start cooking Okay guys, so this is what my meat looks like. I have them in tiny chunks. Nobody wants to eat goat's meat pepper soup and be struggling with the meat. This is a bit big but I can't cut it because it's bone so I'm going to use it like that. Um, yeah, let's just start cooking. I'm going to rinse this and get ready for cooking. So in my pepper soup, I actually like using onion and pepper and pepper, but at the moment I don't have chili pepper, so I'll be using this pepper and I'm just going to use half. I'm going to chop it in tiny chunks, like very very tiny chunks, and um half of this onion will be going into my pepper soup. I haven't seasoned the meat yet because I'm any day, so I have to do this first. So now I'm going to cut this onion in small chunks like I said before and also this one as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is to season my goat meat with some seasoning cube and salt and then cover it and allow it to cook for a while. 
like 10 to 15 minutes so that it gets all the spices needed inside the meat before I pour any water. Don't worry, it's not going to burn. I washed the meat so there's a tiny bit of water in the pot already. And then I'll be adding my chopped onion and pepper together. So stir it properly and then allow it to cover and allow it to cook for a while. So I have some parboiled rice here and I'll be using parboiled rice. You can use basmati if you want but I eat parboiled rice and this is what I'm going to be using. before I add my remaining spices. I just need about two to three spices, just my pepper, my pepper soup spice, uh, maybe salt or seasoning cube to taste. Okay guys, so since my meat has been boiling for about 15 minutes now, I'm just going to go ahead and add water into my goat's meat. That's what makes the pepper soup. So now that I've added my water, the next thing I'm going to add is my dry pepper. You can add as much pepper as you would like. I have it in the nylon here, so I'm just going to take a spoon or two and add it. I also have a tiny bit of Cameroon pepper here, so I'm just going to use small for flavoring. And then I have my pepper soup spices, it's in a small nylon here. Um, I blended this myself, I mix it myself and that's why it's in the nylon. I've been using this for months now and it's still my favorite pepper soup blend. So I'm just going to use a little. It's already boiling together. The next thing I'm just going to add is my salt because I added water. Obviously, the salt is not going to be enough, so I'm just going to add more salt and a tiny bit of seasoning cube, or rather one seasoning cube. I'm using crayfish seasoning because that's what is best for me right now. It just gives your food a better taste and flavor. This is my crayfish seasoning, Mikey crayfish seasoning. So I'm just going to add this, stir it together and allow it to cook for about 10 more minutes and let the recipe is ready. So my rice has been boiling as well. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and wash this. beautiful comments in my last video about my skin I love you guys okay I'm just going to go ahead and wash the rice and set it aside while my water is boiling So my pepper soup is actually ready. Um, this is what it looks like. I hope you can see it. It's beautiful and it tastes fantastic. My rice is not yet ready, so I'm just going to hold on till later. I'm going to eat the rice later, but I'm just going to show you guys what it's like here. Like I can't actually wait to 
eat this or have this so i'm just going to take tiny bits of meat here and have fun till later in the evening when i can eat okay guys so this is the whole pepper soup and if you've not subscribed at this point i don't know what to say to convince you please do subscribe and i love you okay guys so this brings me to the end of the video i'm going to insert my pepper soup sp <laughs> i'm going to insert all the ingredients to the pepper soup in the description box because i didn't start with the ingredients and thank you so much for cooking with me today um thank you so much for my skin as well like you guys made me appreciate my skin way more than i did before and yeah i appreciate you too and uh, thank you so this is the sun doing wonders to my skin can you guys see i'm looking at my screen so if my eye is bending thank you <laughs> okay so uh if you have any video suggestions please feel free to let me know and yeah i hope we can have more fun and i hope you're staying safe you are sanitizing your hands and you're washing your hands off as often as you can um see you in my next video i love you and if you haven't subscribed ah uh, i don't know what to say to you anymore please subscribe and yeah see you in my next video bye